Hey guys, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get the follow alert onto your Twitch or your any live streams really. So we're going to go to knifedev.com, click on projects, click follower alert, and install for OBS, download it. Okay, I'm going to cancel that since I already have it downloaded. I'm going to go into my downloads folder. Just gonna wait. Oh, this this one right here. Go to extract to. I created a folder into my um, desktop so that it doesn't all get all over the place. So just um, install it into your folder, which is what I'm gonna do again. Open this up. Click the install by double clicking it. Click yes. I already have that installed, so I don't really have to do that. Once that's installed, go into your OBS, right click it, add, and you're going to click CLR browser. I'm going to call this blah, since I already have one there and I don't really want to have another one, but I'm going to do it for you guys. Hold on. I'm going to wait for this because I already have a lot of applications on it, so it's probably just like, there we go. Now this is going to open up. Now you're going to go into Nidef before we do that part. Click next. Now in this part we can either add a custom one. I can show you how to do that one on a different video. But on this one I'm going to be choosing one that they already have. I'm going to click stacked because it looks a lot better. I'm going to change the color which you can obviously adjust. Oh that looks perfect. I'm going to leave it. No, no maybe not green purple. Alright, now you're going to put your Twitch name. I'm going to see what mine is. Tutorial land. Okay. Tutorial land. Just put your Twitch username in here and you can choose a sound. If you want uh, one of our follower um, follows you, it should put a sound that you chose. Click next. Now what you're going to do is, what you're going to do is copy this link right here. You're going to go into OBS, click on this, right here, let me just, no, I have it opened, oh, there it is. Click on this, paste it, and you're going to put and preview equals true. Now, this is just to make sure that it pops out into your, into your stream. This is just going to, it's just a preview. Now it should pop up. There it is. Now I'm going to edit it so I can move it to a more better position. You can make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to put it right there. And that pretty much just showed that it can pop out. So what you're going to do is stop preview. Right click it. Properties. No. Properties. Let me see that. that was the wrong one. Sorry. You're going to right click it. Properties. And then you're going to erase it. That was just to test if it would show up in your sh in your um, stream preview. And since it did show up, it means that it's going to show up in your actual stream. And the reason why I like putting end preview equals true before I actually stream it is so that I can just where it'll show up and whether or not I want it bigger or smaller. So once you've already done that, you just click on properties and then erase true equals preview and. You just erase it there. That way it doesn't do that automatically. Automatically when you stream, it doesn't just pop out of nowhere. So that's that. And the same thing goes with the donation one. Um, I will do a video on that later on. Um, I hope this was really helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscriber button. Bye guys.